Department of Corrections responding to a state investigation of Clayton Lockett's April execution. Released last week, the Department of Safety's investigation recommends new guidelines for executions in Oklahoma. News reporter Joe Hankey is live in Oklahoma City with the action the DOC is taking. Well, changes are coming to the Department of Corrections handling of executions in Oklahoma following last week's report, but when those changes will be finalized remains unclear. The Oklahoma Department of Corrections and its director, Robert Patton, the focus of many questions about execution procedures in Oklahoma since the April 29th execution of Clayton Lockett. Many people wanting to know what went wrong and in the future, how will executions change? Today, Robert Patton answering what questions he can. My general counsel has advised me I shouldn't even do this press conference today because of pending legal issues. But I owe it to you guys to come out here and face you. The Department of Public Safety last week releasing this 29-page report on Lockett's execution. Inside are 11 recommendations to be made before the DOC's next lethal injection execution is carried out. Patton today saying all recommendations within his power are being acted on and a new protocol is being written. I expect within the next two weeks uh, to get the protocol over to the Attorney General for legal review. I don't know how long it will take them to get it back to me. Patton says one of the 11 recommendations is outside his control and not being acted on by his department. Last week's report suggests not scheduling executions within seven days of each other. The report shows scheduling the execution of Charles Warner the same day as Lockett created extra stress for staff. Patton says he supports the 10 recommendations within his power and the new protocol being written. I'm very confident moving forward uh, in the process uh, of executing inmates in the state of Oklahoma. The state's next scheduled execution is for Charles Warner on November 13th. Patton says if the new protocol is approved in time, he is working to have his staff trained by then, but if more time is needed, a stay could be requested. Now, communication between the governor's office and the Department of Corrections during Lockett's execution became an issue. Coming up on 2 News at 6, what changes are being made to the execution room itself to make sure similar problems don't take place in the future? Live in Oklahoma City tonight, Joe Henke, 2 News works for you.